Hey yo, it's Cappuccino here, and welcome back to our Crunker video. If you guys know anybody who's interested in playing Crunker, then please use my referral link down in the description below, or check out the pinned comment. It'll be real helpful for me personally, because maybe one day we get a code cap. Hopefully. If you guys like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and share this video to your friends, families, and pets. Yes, your pets. I always have a Twitch and Discord, links to those down in the description below. Enjoy the video guys, and have a wonderful day. There's an ongoing joke on my YouTube channel where if I play a public game, I'll get a nuke. Which is kind of true, you know, because I tried to get at least one nuke for a video. So this is a complete guide of how to get easy nukes. <coughs> Throughout this video, I'll be interviewing people who has a nuke tamer. And nuke tamer is somebody who has over a thousand nukes, so their words has to be helpful, right? Like, I mean, you can't get a thousand nukes without giving one or two good advice of how to get easy nukes. Like, come on now. Anyways. To start this guy so one of the most important things you guys learn how to do in crunker is learn how to b-hop so i'm gonna teach you guys how to do that real quick so you got all you gotta do is just click host game custom little town is probably the perfect map for it just uh zero minutes to have unlimited minute and start the game so slide hopping or b-hopping in crunker is actually pretty easy all you, all you gotta do is just walk straight jump and crouch walk straight jump and crouch so mid slide, you guys, you guys just want to repeat back the step that I just said. Walk straight, jump, crouch, jump, crouch like that. And over time, you guys build up momentum like this, and you go faster. Some couple tricks of uh, doing sharp turns is aiming in like this, or hold down your crouch a bit longer than usual. So you guys have a good crispy turn, so you guys will keep your momentum. B hopping or slide hopping crunker is actually really important because you go around the map quicker, so you get more kills than usual. But the most important thing is it's it's harder for the enemy to shoot you, so it will increase your chance of getting a nuke, of decreasing your chance of dying. It is possible getting a nuke without B hopping, but I'm just increasing your chance of getting a nuke. So learn how to B hop. There's more advanced way of learn uh, B hopping. It should be a some couple views on the screen right now, but. You gotta get the basic down to learn how to do all those fancy tricks. But Cap, I play on six. As a 60 FPS Mac player, what do you think is the most important thing for someone who plays with 60 FPS to work on? For a 60 FPS player at all, I think you should focus on the mechanics on how to beat up with a limited amount of FPS and a lag spikes since they occur a lot. Yeah, so you guys have no excuse to uh, how to beat up. Come on now. Yeah, it's a bit harder than with, compared to someone with like over 300, but you guys can do it. You can do it. Just do it! So out of 13 classes in Kronker, what is the best class to get nukes with? The best top two is the trigger man or the running gun. The AK or the submachine gun. Because the other class may not be as good or takes more skill than your average player. For example, the hunter, the sniper class, takes a bit more skill because you have 60 HP compared to the 200 one. So you gotta hit all your shots and hope that you don't get one shot by a red player. Which is also a good class to get nukes with if you if you can aim. But in this video, we, just, we try and get easy nukes, you know, to get 25 kills the fast and easiest way. So the AK and the submachine gun is your best friend. So between the AK and the submachine gun, what's the best class, you might say? As you guys can see, the AK does more damage with headshot, body shot, you know, leg shot, any shot. However, <laughs> the submachine gun has a fire, um, faster fire rate. You can jump higher, you can wall jump, you can move quicker, uh, you have more ammo capacity, and you have a faster reload time. So at the end of the day, it's all about preference. And here's a quick interview with Josiah. Please check out his YouTube channel and Twitch down in the description below. Because he's, he's an SNG uh, main, and he's, he's going to give his uh, opinion about the debate between the AK and the submachine gun. For getting nukes. Between the AK and SMG, what do you think is the best weapon to get nukes on? Personally, I think it's fully depending on your play style. For example, if you are into movement a lot more, I think SMG can do better, do this higher jump height, and capability to do wall jumps. 
AK is also a great gun for the damage, but I found myself running out bullets more often, especially to, due to the fact there is a longer reload time. So I personally prefer SMG at this time, but AK is almost tied with it for me. So between the AK and submachine gun, it's up to you guys. Just I prefer the submachine gun because it gives more flexibility and mobility compared to the AK. However, I still prefer the AK over the submachine gun, and here's why. So of course, the AK does more damage than the submachine gun. However, the trigger man class has a secondary, unlike the running gun class. Secondaries and Krunker is actually an underrated aspect to a class because, for example, once you hit level 15, you unlock the Desert Eagle or the Deagle for short. With the Deagle, you can actually one-shot snipers if you hit a headshot. And, since, and uh, sniping in Krunker is actually really, really, really common. With this being said, you have a free opportunity to one-shot snipers in your lobby if you come ac uh, across one. Just out here chilling with my rainbow, there's Eagle. You know, I'm about one-shot me some snipers. Hey, buddy. Out of here. Right now, it's 11.57 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. And New York is popping up right now. I play in New York and we have almost 900 players. My next tip for you guys is trying to find a time where your server has the most players. Because the more players there are, the higher chance of you find a lobby with quote unquote uh, worse players than you. So you have a higher chance of getting a nuke. Alright, we're going lobby surfing boys. So lobby surfing, this is what I call it. It's just jumping from lobby to lobby to find a lobby that you get a nuke with. So right now, uh, I like to play free for all. So let's, let's try a little town. Nope. Um, Let's try Oswell. Nope. Okay. Undergroup. Nope. Okay. Sub Zero. Nope. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. Berg. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. So, what you guys want to do? That's not Berg. What you guys want to do is spectate and uh, see if this lobby is actually nukeable for you guys. So, guess, you know, level four, level five, level nine, 39. I can, I can nuke in this lobby. So, you just got, so you guys just got like surf around to find a perfect lobby for you guys. So if you guys are having trouble trying to get a nuke in your free for all lobby, just play a team based game. You have four players including yourself to help you guys survive and get kills. So once you guys find your lobby, it's time to know the spawn point of the map you're playing on. As someone with over 3000 nukes, what is the best advice you would give to anyone who's trying to get more nukes? Learn spawns and pre-fire everything. The game gives you infinite ammo so why not use it? That is true. That is true. For this example, we're going to use undergrowth. So undergrowth is actually really easy to understand the uh, spawn point. So one spawn right there, one right there, one right here, one back there, and one right here. These are the top five spawn points of this map. There's other spawn points, but I'm just, I'm just going to show you the top five because that's where the most common people will spawn. So knowing the spawn points is actually really important because you know where they're going to spawn, how to rotate. And you can prepare yourself or get a better angle of the player that are coming towards you. So you get an easier kill. For this map, I like to sit around here. So for example, I'll go down here. I'll shoot a couple bullets down to the wooden paddle to see if anybody spawns there. If they do, I'll get a, a kill or I'll damage, damage them at least. After that, I'll check back here. Yeah, and after that, I'll check right here and see if anybody would come down this little tunnel right here. After I'm done, I would try and slide hop out so I hop my way up here. I'll check out. I'll check down this path for like five seconds, because this uh this path is actually really common for people who spawns out here or spawn here. So we'll spawn here and they'll take a right and they go straight and they'll be, I'll be waiting for them. If nobody spawns there, I'll check to my uh, right for like three seconds. If not, I'll hop on this rail, walk down a little bit, check down this line of sight to see if anybody trying to be hop this way. For example, if, if someone spawns here, you can. See, you can uh, see them for a couple seconds if they be up this way and walk down here. So I, well, what I like to do is go down here and get myself ready for this person. Because, you know, it's an easy kill. And after that, repeat yourself. Or you, you, can, you can repeat yourself or do whatever you want. I'm just letting you know. Spawn points, please learn them. They're real easy to learn. It would take you like an hour to two hours tops to know all the spawn points in Crunker. You can basically learn it by playing it because it's really simple. There's not a lot of spawn points. So please, spawn points, really important. What do you think is the best and easiest map to get nukes with? I wouldn't say there is the best map to get nuke with, 
But for my playstyle, I prefer maps that have spawns that are easier to monitor and areas where you get third party less frequently, such as evacuation or sub zero. So Crunker added a new kill streak a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. Where if you get 12 kill streak, you get a KR package, which is like like a, a KR package from Call of Duty, right? Drop that thing down and a package will come and you guys get free KR. However, like I said, be careful. Other players can steal your KR package. You can bait this to get more kills. Like the monkey boss and zombies, you can bait that. So use that to your advantage of trying to get more nukes. For someone who's trying to get the first couple of nukes, what would be your best advice for that individual? For new players, knowing the spawn is crucial for nuking. Not necessarily spawn camping, but knowing where the enemy is can help you a lot, especially in dead lobbies. It can also help when you are trying to preserve a streak by moving away from the spawns. You are like you are less likely to get killed. On the other hand, if you have little experience in Crunker, holding a corner of the map is a good way to nuke. And placing a KR package in high populated area and camping, it also works. So hopefully this uh, complete guy and me interviewing all these nuke tamers will help you guys get more nukes than usual. But at the end of the day, it's all about practice. So please use what you learn from this video and apply it to your gameplay. And maybe you see your uh, nuke count increase. So that's because that's the whole point of this video. And um, and please let me know down in the description below if this video is actually helpful or not. Because I might want to make more tips and tricks in the future if this video gets a positive feedback. So please let me know. Thank you so much to all the new tamers who I interviewed in this video. Their social is down in the description below. And yeah, and here's a gameplay of everything that we talk about in this video. Enjoy, guys. Boop, 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 boop. All right, let's try and get this. KR package for a demonstration for you guys. Oh, what the? This man is super lagging, bro. What the? All right, I'm taking too much time. Peep down here. Protect my back. Oops. Uh oh. Oh my God, he missed. Thank God. Make sure. Check everybody spun back here. I saw. I just saw somebody. Nope, fake news. My dude's lagging like crazy. Oh. Alright, I got the package, so I'm gonna put in open space where I have a good angle on it so I can bait some people. This should be here, you know? Oops. Ho <laughs> ho! Alright. Right, I'm gonna check it, see anybody try and get it. Nope, no sir. What are you doing back here, buddy? Why are they coming after me now? Hey, right, nobody's getting a package. Right. I'm pretty close, so I'm gonna chill around here. You know, why not? Ooh, I saw. Ooh, I got a hit marker. Okay, I'm got. I gotta go because they're coming after me. Low key. You can also wall bang right here to just double check. And now uh, we got a nuke. Let's go. Oh. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Go back here. I'm gonna drop a nuke because why not? Yo, double nuke? <laughs> kind of insane. Alright. Make sure no one gets my package. Boom. All right, we got another package, so I'm gonna put it back here. So I got one in front, one behind me. Oops, I can't. Oh, <laughs> I deserve that. I, I, got, I got stuck. That was my fault. All right. All right, same thing over and over again. Just bait your package, no spawns. Just rotate. Ooh, that's all you. Right, check back here. No more. good. Nice, look at that wall bang. Oops. Some, you gotta be more quicker than me. Because sometimes people spawn behind you so quick. Alright, someone spawned there. That's cool. Another package. <laughs> I'm jumping package like there's no tomorrow. Got that Amazon Prime two day shipping, bro. Look at that. Yo, we're, we're close to a double nuke. Wow, whoa, whoa. Nope. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. 
Oh my god. Wow. Almost choked that. Alright, I need two more kills for a noob. One more kill. 